Hello to you my fellow Gooners and welcome to Arsenal TV. This is my little match reaction from last night's game against Olympian Arcos in the first leg. Let's get straight to the point. First thing is the lineup that Mikel Arteta put out. Uh, I was expecting Martinez to play 100% but but Leno got the heads up and he went in goal. Um, the back line was Socrates, uh, Mustafi, David Luiz and Saka. Midfield pivot was Gwendozi and Granit Xhaka. The front three was Aubameyang out on the right, Willock in the number 10 role and then we had Martinelli out on the left and Lacazette up top. One thing I will say that I wasn't happy with and that is playing the Aubameyang out on that right hand side. Now, we know in previous games, when Aubameyang's played on the right-hand side, he has not been comfortable whatsoever. Um, so that's one thing I would have changed. Now, another thing I would have changed to that lineup was not playing Gwendozi. I think really Sabayo should have played instead of Gwendozi because we know that the Gwendozi and Granit Xhaka midfield pivot does not work in any shape or form. Um, so, yeah, it was a bit bold for you know, uh, Mikel Arteta to go with the lineup the way he did. Now, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Now, the first half, in the first opening five minutes, was very nail-biting because I believe that Olympian Arcos should have went 2-0 up in that first half. Should have done. They had two clear-cut chances that they should have buried. And Arsenal were very, very lucky that they did not go in. Um, defensively, I think we was a bit shaky um, in the first couple of minutes. Very, very shaky. Um, I think the Olympian Arcos dominated that first half and a lot of the time they was getting through our middle of the park. And I noticed it. I noticed it. And I was hoping that Mikel Arteta would also notice it and actually try and, you know, tighten it up. And he managed to do so. And we stopped him. Then after a while, Olympian Arcos started to attack our right-hand side. Um, because obviously Socrates was sort of struggling over on that right-hand side. Um, Mustafi and David Luiz, I thought they had a, a very, very good game last night. Saka, absolute outstanding performance by him. Uh, Xhaka, very, very solid. Uh, Willock, very poor in my opinion. Uh, I think that Lacazette, I don't think he had a good game overall, apart from, you know, he got, you know, the goal. Um, Aubameyang, I think he was, he was sort of not a great performance. Um, very, very quiet during that game. But in the last 15, 20 minutes, when he moved over onto that left-hand side, he was more comfortable. You could see it. Um, so, yeah, the first half wasn't really that great. And, you know, Olympian Arcos had more of the possession to what we did. They was more of the dominant side. Now, going in at half-time, uh, going in, you know, at goalless, uh, I was hoping that Gwendozi would have came off in that, you know, half uh, half time. And I would have thought that, you know, Sabias would have came in uh, and played alongside Granit Xhaka to, you know, to steady the, the midfield. But turns out he didn't. Um, but second half, I think that we was more or less the dominant side. We had more of the possession. Um, I thought we, we had some really clear cut chances that we should have took as well. Um, but. Hey-ho, it's 1-0. Um, you know, Lacazette with his goal. Um, Saka with the assist. That's nine assists for him this season. Absolute unbelievable. And we need to sign him down to a new contract, definitely. Um, but yeah, second half, it wasn't really that convincing. I know we had, you know, more of the possession. And, uh, you know, Olympian Arco sort of stepped back a bit. Uh, but it wasn't really that great, but... You know, we managed to get the the, mo the most important thing that people forget is the the importance of the away goal. Now we got the goal, we got a clean sheet, and we got the away goal. Now, if we go into that and into the second leg, the returning leg at the Emirates, which is you know this coming Thursday, um, we need to go out fully strong because now Olympian Arcos need two goals. Now, if Arsenal played the way they did, you know, within those first opening five ten minutes of that game. I reckon that Olympian Arcos will get the two goals and um, we will be on the back foot and we don't really want that. Um, but yeah, overall, it wasn't a great performance, but do I really care about that? No, because we got the win and we move on now to Sunday against Everton at home uh, to them. So that game is massive, absolutely massive against Everton because if we... If we want to creep up to the table and get into that Champions League spot, we've got to win these last remaining Premier League games. Um, and if we don't win them, then at least we've got the Europa League to fall back on as well. Um, so guys, there you go. That is my little match reaction of last night's game against Olympian Arcos. As I said, it wasn't an, an, 
a good overall performance, not that great, but we got the win. And that's all that matters to take into that returning leg to the Emirates. Um, guys, if you are new around here, make sure you smash that uh, subscribe button. Make sure you smash a like on this video. And uh, yeah, I will see you for the preview for the Sunday uh, game against Everton. My preview will be out on Saturday. So uh, guys, until then, I'll see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.